So what are we doing now? Waiting. You're not going to offer me a drink or anything? You haven't earned that yet. So we wait. Then what? You're gonna. So I've got the recorder. And a drink. If you want it. No thanks. I'm good. So, Mr Marshall. All you have to do now is just tell us your story. Everything that happened leading up to your arrest. The whole thing? All of it. The woman was an old friend, ex-lover, to be specific. We went way back, but I hadn't spoken to her in about a year. She told me that she wanted to meet with me to discuss something if I had a free afternoon. Her name? Lydia. Don't know her surname. What was she wearing? Green dress. Didn't really suit her. Carry on. Now, what she wanted to discuss, I had no idea. Some hopes, sure, but no real idea. When I saw her, though, I knew this wasn't going to be anything like I'd hoped. She told me to take the bag to a bar a couple blocks away. I asked her what was in the bag, but she just ignored that and told me that there would be a man in the bar waiting for me if I take the table next to the window. And so you just did it? Money's tight, and she was paying. How much? Ten thousand. Half before, half after. Big money for someone with no involvement in the operation. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. OK. So then what? Uh, I said goodbye and she sent me on my way. So, where did you go? To the bar. How fast? Did she give you a time you had to get it there by? She said the guy would be waiting for me to meet him at four. And what time was this? Half three. Plenty of time. Hard to mess up. Not exactly. There was roadworks, you know, up by the crossing, so I had to make a new way across the main road. The big one? Yeah. Crossing a road like that is harder than it sounds with a bag around your neck. It was really heavy, too. Do you know what was in there? We do. You can't tell me, though. Absolutely not. But you got across? Eventually. But not with much time left on the clock. It was nearly half four by the time I was across. So I was making bad time. I knew I didn't have long left, and I ran the rest of the way. The streets were packed. I saw the bar, and I made a final run for it. So I made it, with a couple minutes to spare. The time? 4.27, three minutes to spare. So I waited. The time passed, and as soon as I saw him, the police were all over me. Saw who? Kingfisher. Kingfisher? Who's that? The guy I was meant to make the drop to. Lydia told me she was working for a kingfisher, so I assumed it was the same guy. I didn't know that. I think he did.